Salut și bine ați venit la un nou episod special de data asta al podcastului Fain și Simplu. Am uh, făcut niște episoade speciale în această vară în care v-am prezentat învingători. Au fost aici oameni care și-au spus povestea și cum și-au schimbat povestea vieții cu ajutorul alergării. Alergarea a făcut minuni și pentru mine alergarea cum, așa, cum au spus și ei, a făcut minuni și pentru traseul vieților. Iar aceste episoade speciale au fost un fel de uvertură pentru unul dintre cele mai importante evenimente de alergare de la noi. E vorba de Maratonul Oltenii. Suntem la câteva săptămâni după ce ediția 2021 a Maratonului Oltenii, prezentată de CEZ România, a avut loc... De data asta, punctul de plecare a fost tot parcul Zăvoi din Râmnicu Vâlcea și alergarea a fost prin Ținutul Învingătorilor, pentru că ăsta a fost conceptul Maratonului Olteniei în 2021. Au participat peste 600 de alergători, parte făcând, bătând traseul la pas, alții participând la cursa virtuală. O să vorbim despre cum a fost la Maratonul Olteniei cu principalul organizator, cu sufletul acestei competiții, îi se spune și CEO-ul alergător în lumea de business din România. Vreau să vi-l prezint pe Andrei Șafar, CEO-ul CES România. Hello Andrei, welcome to the podcast. Hello. Thanks uh, and uh, thanks for having the opportunity to be here. The Land of Winners was the concept uh, be, uh, behind the uh, ninth edition of uh, mm-hmm. Oltenia's Marathon. Uh, why did you choose this uh, this concept? First of all, like for us, it was very. We were very happy that we were able to organize it this year again because we had one year of break mm-hmm. where we had just the virtual marathon. So for us, it was really special to to get back and uh, have it mm-hmm. uh, have it really in Rimniku Vlcha. And the idea was that uh, like every year we have a lot of people which are coming. Uh, they are coming to Rimniku Vlcha. We have a lot of people which uh, for whom it uh, the sport is already part of the life. And we have as well a lot of people which uh, are starting in Marathon Oltenie mm-hmm. and Marathon Oltenie is uh, something which is their first attempt to do the competition and this is, this is for them really the motivation to work and uh, prepare for it uh, over the year. It's mm-hmm. so like when we started with the first edi- edition, it was uh, around I think like hundreds of participants and it was growing year by year and uh, we had really experience of a lot of people which are starting. And we just wanted to really show these people as a winners because we, we see the winner is everyone who just got the courage comes to the start mm-hmm. uh, and uh, try to try to compete and then uh, every year getting better. You are one of the uh, 600 participants uh, from this edition because you run almost every day. I am uh, I'm doing uh, sport every day. I'm mm-hmm. trying uh, I'm trying to do or actually I'm doing sport every day and I'm either running or I'm uh, going to gym to exercise or I, or I'm biking. So for me that's the first thing in the morning. So when I wake up that's mm-hmm. the first thing what I do before all the other in the family wakes up I just uh, do some I do some sports and when I come back the rest of the family is starting to wake up. So that's my my time time for myself. How was for you? personally the the competition this uh, year no it was it was really a lot of emotions being able to see all these people which are part of this big mm-hmm. family of marathon Oltenie in rimniku vlcha uh, we had uh, quite a good weather so it was a bit rainy but mm-hmm. it made it more interesting uh, actually i like more this kind of uh, gloomy weather with bit of uh, bit of rain it's it's like i feel better like it's mm-hmm. it's better for the running it's but be- it's better air it was be difficult at the beginning of run- running session because it was heavy rain on the other hand the energy you could feel much m- much more the energy mm-hmm. of the people so like people were really excited that they and your the personal start. story my personal story in competition this year in this competition Mm -hmm. 
my personal story is uh, so uh, I had like at the start uh, Alex Chokan just joined me and he said you know what uh, I'm gonna go with you it's, it's the national champion in, uh, in on cycling okay. so he just uh, which was one of the ambassadors for this year and the president of the, the Romanian, pres- Romanian uh, cycling federation pres- president mm-hmm. of Romanian cycling federation said like you know <laughs> I'm gonna go with you So I was just having in mind, let's say, yeah, that's that's gonna be quite boring for you, which mm-hmm. actually somehow was because uh, in the situations when I was like really working hard to get up the hill, he was just uh, he was just easily pedaling, doing something on the phone. I don't know whether he was playing <laughs> Tetris or something, but so waiting uh, waiting for me and uh, supporting me. But it was it mm-hmm. was really nice. It was a really nice experience. And it was it was absolutely great for a lot of people on the track. They were because they were very happy that they can go somewhere around Alex, around someone who is like so performant that he's going with us uh, uh-huh. behind. So, and this was the first day on bike. That was the because first day. The next day, you run. The next yeah. next day was next day morning is the running. So that's the tradition. So like we have first day we have a bike, and the mm-hmm. second day we have running. Which is making the running uh, actually easier because uh, in uh, Rimniku, so you have like one one and a half kilometer you are running on flat, and then mm-hmm. you are starting to really climb uh, to quite steep a hill. Mm-hmm. And the first day you are climbing it, and you have to carry the bike. So next day you are really enjoying it because you don't have to carry that bike. So it's much easier. You have running shoes. You don't have the bike shoes. So it's uh, it's much better, and you are really enjoying it uh, that you can you can run up the hill i'm very curious because uh, you make performance in business you are the ceo of one big company in uh, in romania chess uh, and you do sport almost every day running gym uh, what's the lesson you you learn from uh, from running because uh, it's about competition but in running you have to accept that uh, every time uh, it, someone is faster than you now i have to say like i started running so i was doing sport during my university studies mm-hmm. all the time and then somehow gradually i was uh, i stopped doing the sports because you have technical studies i have the technical studies but so because you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of uh, work so you you don't really find the time for it and that's how <coughs> and really sport was gradually disappearing from my life and then i just found my, myself in turkey where uh, because of the workload because of the traffic i was not able to do anything than just being in the office and then commuting mm-hmm. where i spend like three hours a day uh, somewhere on the way to office and back because really the traffic there is terrible And then I got some, uh, I got some bacteria. Uh, so I just started to feel tired, which is, and I went to doctor. And then there was a there was a doctor which was investigating, and she told me that I have this bacteria. And uh, she just asked me, okay, so do you want to treat it or not? And I was looking at her. I was thinking to myself, like, what is this stupid question about? <laughs> like, I went to doctor, of course. I want Why to, to live it. with the bacteria in your body. <laughs> and she just looked at me and said, like, you know, but here in Turkey, 60% of people, they have this bacteria. It's everywhere. It's in the water. If you get rid of it, uh, you will most likely get it very soon as well. But maybe just look at yourself. If you start to move, you start to do something, except of just st- sitting in the office and sitting in the car. Mm-hmm. your body will be able to uh, manage it mm-hmm. and you will not you will not really mind so just start to do something and i started like i start walking first like walking at least like half an hour one hour every day gradually starting running and then i just realized that i, I really feel much better so it's just like mm-hmm. it's really the time when you can you somehow release the stress you do you do something different you can uh, you can think on whatever you at, at the end you realize that after uh, like 15 20 minutes you are somehow thinking about some things from your life or from the from the work anyway but you have really time to to concentrate and uh, it's it's making really it's really relaxation and it's as well helping me to somehow find out f- things which i was i would never expect that i can find out and did you get rid of this bacteria through okay. running not through running i was I, i was treated so, so I, I, ta- uh-huh. i take the treatment but then uh, i lost like almost 20 kilos over the, over the time uh, and uh, 
I just I, I I felt much better. I feel much better. I'm curious how the the everyday job change after you you begin to run your decision in business your energy i have so i, I think like first thing which is which is really changing is because i i do sport in the morning so when i come to office like normally i was like kind of sleepy and i had a really slow start but there like after after doing the sport you have mm-hmm. you are really starting with uh, with quite energy Uh, so this is this is definitely helping with the mornings. I'm most likely annoying in the morning for a majority of people <laughs> because, <laughs> because I have already a few hours behind me. Uh, so that's that's most likely uh, not really appreciated by the by all the people around. What's your uh, hour uh, for waking up? Six o'clock, six o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what's what's as well? It's uh, how is it happening? I that's as well. I learn. Like I don't know. We are we are for example. We are discussing some things. We are not really finished. Uh, so it's I can feel that it's it's not really perfect. And I, I had it a couple of times. I said, you know what? Just let's discuss it in the morning. I will just run over it and uh, <laughs> let's see what comes. And usually something comes. So some ideas just comes because I just I just got to somehow different mood. I can better concentrate and. So you usually run in the morning? I usually run in the morning. Yeah. And how do you p- protect the body from injuries? I had it uh, so when I started so I was uh, I was heavier as well. I didn't know anything about uh, about let's say proper sport about mm-hmm. stretching and so on. So I started to feel I started to feel the knees, I started to uh, somehow feel the back and so on. So I just I just uh, went to some trainer and I made a couple of uh, sessions with the trainer and he explained me that it's really one it's very important to be stretching after so like just not to just not to finish and get uh, get mm-hmm. home so it's it's really important to stretch because that's that's one of the thing which is causing the injuries long term and the second he recommended me to really uh, exercise the core muscles So meaning like to exercise the body so it's not like running is not just the running but uh it's really important to uh keep all the body in uh, in the shape because, because if you have a strong core you have uh, because because exactly so when you are uh, when you are running so you have uh, you have a lot of uh, pressure on your knees mm-hmm. and uh, you can help that pressure so if you are strengthening the Uh, upper body or core muscles mm-hmm. then it's it's helping to somehow release part of the stress from the knees so that's something which i would never know like if i don't just go and uh, get the advice from someone who is really professional and how was when you first sign up for a competition because running is not a competition uh, only with yourself probably but w- when you sign up first uh, half marathon or uh, my first competition was four years ago five years ago it was a uh, marathon Olteni mm-hmm. as well so I was marathon Olteni was your uh, it was my baptism. first it was it was my it was my baptism I was I was back then I was in Turkey so that was uh, the colleagues were organizing it so I uh, I I just took the opportunity to uh, to come to Romania and run the marathon Olteni Mm-hmm. I had even a funny story with the bike. In Czech Republic, uh, biking is very popular. Everyone is biking, but I really didn't bike. I had a break like 10 years. I didn't sit on the bike. Uh, so I bought a, I bought a bike for this competition because mm-hmm. as you are getting older, still you believe that you are uh, as fresh as uh, mm-hmm. 10 years ago when you get out of the bike. So I bought a bike. Uh, I brought it to Rimniku Velcha and I was sitting on that bike for the first time at the start of Marathon Oltenia. It was really painful. Like after 500 meters, I really uh, realized that I could maybe start a bit earlier. So, and the next day, I think it was more painful than... And the next day it was even the- worse <laughs> and that's, I was running, but I somehow felt more comfortable because I was running in that time already. So it was it was fine. It was <laughs> relief. But really, the the first competition which was on bike, it was really it was really tough. It was after 10 years break, sitting on the sitting on the bike. 
and you see running as a competition i see it mainly as a, like this let's say rimniku Vlča is for me competition with myself because <laughs> that's like really comparing what was my time last year versus mm-hmm. what is what is the time this year so yeah. that's the time of uh, this year was better than uh, this time was worse two years than two ago. years ago that's that was unfortunately worse because i was in much better conditions two years ago mm-hmm. uh so that was unfortunately this this year it was slightly worse so i have a i have a motivation for the next for the year. next year yes of course so this is about uh, running you are a runner if you run mm-hmm. not if you run better than your colleague or uh, you are the first in a competition when you run one kilometer or 10 kilometer or a half marathon you are a runner uh, but uh, let's get back to the land of winner the concept behind the uh, old Tenia's marathon when you are a winner when you win or when you uh wake up in the morning for example and uh, went out for a running no i like for me like i feel like the winner if i somehow overcome some challenge some milestone it doesn't matter what is it doesn't matter what is mm-hmm. and it's like unless you are really in competitive sport it's not about being the first one mm-hmm. because at the end uh everyone has some limits and uh, everyone has some priorities mm-hmm. in life everyone has some possibilities so it's really about having the courage and uh, let's say pushing the limits and having the courage to push the limits uh, of each individual so it's not about uh, it's not really about the winning although uh, by just really investigating and looking for the winners we just found absolutely amazing people which uh, you had the interviews mm-hmm. before which are like really real winners not only by overcoming and uh, mm-hmm. themselves they have amazing stories but they are like winners winners because so there is a holder of the romanian record in the, this uh, long distance mm-hmm. run uh, yeah are, daniel is amazing this is th- this, those are absolutely amazing people and uh, amazing stories and he he saved his life he saved his business yeah yeah uh, just just through running ju- just just through running this is this is absolutely amazing story he changed his whole mindset after um, uh, running no and what is amazing like he's one of those like this year he was one of those 200 people on the start you would not even see like who yeah. who, who this guy is and mm-hmm. what is what amazing story he has uh, behind that's and there are plenty of these people so that's that this is really this is really amazing like once once you are really starting to understand and learn this this have you met uh have you met a, a, a winner this this year okay we have daniel uh we have dana but uh tell me a story of a winner you've met this year at uh, marathon or tennis it's, it's it's very difficult to pick pick someone because like really this these people has great stories we have there like we we have there people which didn't do anything one year ago they just they just bought the bike mm-hmm. uh, some uh, cheap bike uh, just to try it mm-hmm. and uh, and they made 20 kilometers they never they never had the idea of uh, getting on the bike and uh, on top of it uh, going in the forest uh, mm-hmm. in the mountains so this is this is this is something amazing we have people which are uh, which are winning in their categories i think like we had one guy uh, r- running this uh, half marathon in the mountains uh, m- more than 60 years old in absolutely amazing time those are like all of these people are um, are winners and i, I think that it, it is very important because it, there is a fear i'm running every day for years and i'm afraid to go to a competition but when you are there nobody is judging you no, but that's... if you are a first timer nobody is judging you it, there is a uh, so much spirit of uh, of community that's a real community yeah, yeah. No, this is this this is really amazing. I, I had it like when I was when I even started running. I had a feeling that everyone is looking at me. 
Yeah, and judging you. And judging me. <laughs> and then you just realize that no one really cares about you because this is okay. You are like one of the many people just just around. So like when I started really, when I started running, I was running with a with a sweatshirt, with a hoodie, with a mm-hmm. uh, cover the head or some uh, mm-hmm. summit. No one really, no one really cares. You run fast, you run slow, you walk. Mm-hmm. It's at the end, it's. It's absolutely no, everyone like this, which are running around, like the, the, the better the people are, the more they care and more they judge the people around us. And there are so many examples of people, of runners helping other runners yeah, in yeah. the competition. No, no, but because it's ex- at the end, it's not, it's not that much about the victory. It, if you are on Olympic <clears throat> games or you are in profi sport, that's, that's, that's different mm-hmm. story, but in uh, in this this kind of uh, really uh, sports it's it's really about being together and enjoying it and that's that's what what we really like and what i really like on marathon old any we have like the other thing what i really love there is all these people on these refreshment points are volunteers either from our company or they are mm-hmm. from our, from the partners uh, who is organizing it these people are there enjoying the fact that they are together they are there because they are enjoying seeing uh, either people from the company or mm-hmm. people from the rimniku Velcha just running through the forests and they are having great days so they they are really they are enjoying the day and you can feel the energy of how, them enjoying it how can you transfer this spirit team spirit the community spirit from running competitions to business for example No, for us, this is really part of uh, part of doing business. So we have uh, we have there like uh, more than hundred uh, of participants are coming f- are from our company. Mm-hmm. We, as I said, those volunteers are as well part of the uh, part of the company or part of our sponsors, which are uh, many of the sponsors uh, are really our partners mm-hmm. from the business. And it's it's really as I said, like it's 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 really big family. So it's something which the organization is uh, looking forward to have it, and uh, enjoy this uh, weekend, uh, which is last weekend of mm-hmm. summer, to enjoy it in uh, Remniko Velja. Let's talk about energy, because one lesson I learned from uh, from running is that uh, in order to produce energy. You have to consume energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you learn about uh, energy, the human energy, in uh, from from running? No, first of all, when it comes to like as you put it, like uh, giving energy, consuming energy, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, receiving consume. I'm consuming too much, so this is well, <laughs> this is one of my weakness. I should like. <laughs> On the intake, I should I should really decrease, mm-hmm. uh, but unfortunately, eating is my second passion after after mm-hmm. running. So that's that's something which is at least trying to keep it in the balance. And uh, I was not talking about no, uh, no, no, uh, I know. food. No, no, but 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 generally, so this is uh, it's it's really important uh, to keep to keep the balance. And actually, like sport is something which is helping me to keep the balance. Uh-huh. Uh, this this possibility of. Uh, uh, releasing the energy by doing the sport is helping me uh, helping me in life helping me in business and at the same time like doing the sport uh it's giving certain let's say physical mental uh, basis uh, ability so like if in the life i go through the stress there is there is mm-hmm. really energy you can you can take from as well so that's that's really very good combination do you remember uh decision a hard one influenced by uh, i don't know uh, 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 uh running one morning do, do you take a pause for uh i don't know double checking one important decision in your life I wouldn't have like all this uh, like big important decisions, but that's I, like I, I have the this more about really finding the right angle, so fine mm-hmm. tuning. So it's not really making the big decision while running, because those things are more let's say 
based on some let's say analytical things mm-hmm. and preparation but then uh, this really the the, the fine tuning the, the finding the right words uh, finding the right angle so that's what what's uh, really running is helping me so it's more about finding peace it's about finding the peace where mm-hmm. like uh, sitting in the office uh, sitting in the meetings i can feel that that peace is missing so mm-hmm. for me it's it really works to somehow to to park it say okay mm-hmm. like let's 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 not push it it's it will come and then uh, this is where this is where running is helping after how many minutes uh, or kilometers do you find that state of peace Honestly, I've, i never th- thought of it what i can what i could see is let's see my pace is improving after like six or seven kilometers or this is uh-huh. six seven kilometers that's the best pace because you don't think about running a- anymore yes yeah so <laughs> this is th- that's something which i uh which i'm realizing so i would guess it might be it might be that moment like where I really uh i don't i don't really think about that yes and uh, after six or seven kilometers because this is also my yeah. uh, uh, my example you start to feel that runners high at all yes, the yeah, runners yeah. are talking about yeah, yeah yeah so that that's i think that, mm-hmm. that that most likely that's most likely the moment where really you can you get disconnected from yeah. somehow from your body from the fact that you are running you don't even think about running yeah yeah so that anymore. I, that's most likely the moment because the first kilometers okay first one or first two are hard yeah you are start to move you are consuming energy and then you are yes, yes, like producing even for energy me in the morning i'm even waking up first mm-hmm. one two kilometers that's to wake up get in yeah, yeah. what's the hardest thing uh, the hardest thing in the morning for you lacing up your shoes uh get out i have it i have it as a kind of automat it's when it is difficult is when it's like raining outside or when the weather started to be starting to be uh, worse so like when it's starting to be let's say colder so mm-hmm. like that more like that moment when i wake up and i just uh, hear the rain so mm-hmm. and that that moment to say like but anyway you can you can just dress you can run in the mm-hmm. rain as well so it's not a big deal but that first thoughts it's uh it's difficult otherwise if the no- weather is normal stable it's it's just it's just the routine the worst con- uh, the worst weather conditions you have run not in a competition i think i uh, it would be like in the mountains it could be like minus 15 or something like this is it possible <laughs> no it was possible I, i i didn't run much it was it was in turkey it was it was even quite mm-hmm. high attitude uh, altitude But so I just went there. I went there for skiing, and uh, I just I just wanted to try it. So because mm-hmm. it was, uh, because th- this is this is let's say one of the as well like w- one of the things which I have connected with the running. What I really enjoy if I, if I'm traveling, for example, like wake up in the morning and run for in some city which I don't know. And if you get like seven o'clock, you get somewhere uh, and you just run through the city. Nice with the phones. Now you you will always find yourself the way yep. back. But you see absolutely different city. You see that city where streets are empty. You you don't have all of these shops for the for the tourists. Mm-hmm. You can run around uh, through all these touristic uh, destinations, which are empty. Like people are uh, just cleaning the streets. Uh, shops are getting ready to be prepared. Mm-hmm. And it's absolutely amazing. What's the most beautiful city you have run? I I def- I I enjoyed. Uh, Well, Oslo, it was nice. I enjoy Florence. Florence was really beautiful because during the day it's crazy full. Uh, it's it's like it's full of yeah, tourists. Yeah. Seven Spect- o'clock. That's the only. That, that's really the moment where you can really you can really see it. You can enjoy it. Uh, so that that was nice. I I li- I, I lived in Istanbul, but so I really enjoyed Istanbul. Mm-hmm. So that this is this is really beautiful place uh, for running. So because they have uh, really very long seashore, uh, so you have there like 40 kilometers on the Asian side where I was living. There is 40 kilometers of the of the sh- seashore, which is almost continuous park. So you can really run 
along the sea, it's absolutely amazing. This is a beautiful thing about running because you wake up in a in a beautiful city, a very crowded mm-hmm. city yeah. like Istanbul, Florence, okay, London, Paris. You are waking up at six o'clock. You get out and the city is all yours. And, and the city is really that's that, that's amazing. Uh, uh, what or who inspires you uh, to do sport every day? running one day uh, going to gym the next day i don't think that there is an anybody or anything uh, inspiring me i think it, it became as well a bit addictive so it's it's just it's a beautiful addiction let's it's, say <laughs> it's a really beautiful addiction but that's something which like if i stop for for a week i don't know like because i'm sick or something i really feel like that my body needs that So that's 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 really that that's really partially as well addiction. So and I I really feel it that something is missing. I have to be honest with you. I have 10 days uh, today not running, and I feel in my body the body mm-hmm. is screaming, wake up tomorrow in the morning and uh, go out for a run. Yeah, no, it's, I I am not feeling good. Yeah, I have I have exactly the same. I just like I don't I don't feel good. I don't uh, I don't sleep well because the body is used to get rid mm-hmm. of like to consume an this energy. So you are at, at the in the evening you just cannot fall asleep because you didn't consume mm-hmm. that quantum of uh, energy which the body is used to. So that's uh, that's missing. Yeah. You are in Romania for uh, three years now. So now I'm for three years in Romania. Is the second? Uh, It's the second time. Sec- second time. Is there a, a Romanian athlete you know and uh, you was impressed by? First, I have to say I'm impressed by Romania in general, how sport uh, and really people doing sport. How is it? How it developed since I was in Romania first time in 2005 really like this like the, the general public like really doing sports doing something going to park th- this is something which really the popular the the it the part of the sport po- it it increased so much yeah. so dramatic this is this is something which is really amazing so that's uh that's something exactly what what really is uh impressive mm-hmm. you see all the competitions it's like full of people so I, it's it's absolutely amazing trend and uh, i'm really enjoying it when it comes to really professional professional i'm meeting the i'm meeting the people like around this uh, around the marathon i'm not somehow following sport much i'm not really watching tv with, uh, watching mm-hmm. sport competition so I, I so definitely I know Alex, which is ex sport person. Alex Chokan. Alex Chokan. So definitely you can you can see that like he really he's a really impressive uh, uh, sport guy and now organizer. I'm also a fan of, uh, no, so of Alex. Uh, also comment uh, he is the uh, guy uh, who commands the Tour de France. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very said, good. I'm I'm not watching TV, so like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm I'm watching the, the yeah. The so that so phone. the this is one. Uh, yeah. Or for example, Georgia, you had as well. You had the interview, I think, with him. He's absolutely amazing, uh, amazing yeah. guy. So this is uh, this is another one to to really. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's those those are the people. Uh, what I would say. I see that you have the Romanian flag. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That was like that was the present uh, I received. Uh, Um tell me uh, something about the social uh, role of um, of uh, Marathon Olteni because uh, uh, I heard that uh, uh, this year you donated uh, more than 20,000 euro for social causes in Vulcha region so it's It's important part and it's it's one of the pillar of this of marathon Olteni. So one is really to bring people to do the sport or and to try to do the sports and uh, mm-hmm. and be together. And the other important part is uh, uh, supporting supporting the area. So w- what we are doing is like uh, every year 
everything which we collect uh, as a uh, uh, subscription mm-hmm. for the for the competition competition so everything what people f- people pay we double it and uh, we donate it to some uh, good causes in uh, in Rimniku Vlča so we have traditionally last years we have always some three good causes uh where uh, we have one of them is uh, selected by by our employees and then two of them are uh, uh, selected by us and we are supporting it so and uh, it's growing every year so this year it was 20,000 20,000 euro which we donated or people participating donated because like we are just we are just the channel which is which is helping uh, people to to donate so by doing this you are doing something good for you and as well you are contributing to Rimniku Velcha and as well you can do it uh, or people could do it through this virtual marathon because that's something which we started uh, last year because we were mm-hmm. not able to do physical so we do the virtual one and the beauty of it you can participate wherever you are and you can be even physically there mm-hmm. and on top of it you can do the virtual one as I did for example Andre, if you have a uh one free day in the middle of a week mm-hmm. let's say a wednesday you you, you can take a, a, a free day only for you what will be your sh- uh, schedule for this day you, you are able to do anything you want i will most likely take a bike and i will go to transfagarashan <laughs> nice it's absolutely amazing electric one or a <laughs> electric one is for cheaters it's not a bike it's a motorcycle yeah, like, no like my parents they have electrical bike but they are uh, 65 and more mm-hmm. and i'm always making fun of them when they are telling me that they went for a bike it's like come on like you are on the bicycle uh, so you are on the you are on the motorbike so mm-hmm. it just doesn't come. so electricity is for anything else than a bike <laughs> like, it's not part of sport it's not it's uh, no like it is it is it is good for like for the people which are uh, which are older so for them to be able still to keep mm-hmm. keep moving it's it's perfect thing but as long as i can do it so why would i have the electricity mm-hmm. for the bike can you tell me a running track from czech republic the most beautiful one that I have to run uh, this life. Actually, I was not really running much. Uh, no, I would definitely recommend you Prague Marathon because it's in the city center. So it's you you mm-hmm. run through all these historical sites or just in the morning to to run uh, along the Vltava River, which goes mm-hmm. so you have the amazing views. But like, honestly, I'm like 15 years I'm, uh, I'm living outside of Czech Republic so mm-hmm. I didn't run there much so I just run in the in Prague in the center so you ran you ran more on Dumbovica than <laughs> yes definitely yeah, yeah, yeah and as I said like I, I always worked uh, in every country I worked I worked longer than I ever worked in Czech Republic mm-hmm. okay so your uh, challenge for the next year uh, for Marathon All Tennis is to uh, have a better time than uh, yes this year what was your time for uh, this year actually i don't remember i think like it was on the bike it was three hours something for 33 kilometers mm-hmm. and it was like one hour uh, 15 for the 12 kilometers so don't forget b- uh, before the marathon all tenny next year to watch this uh, podcast and uh, I will have to watch it at the beginning of summer because mm-hmm. like it will be late right before the uh, competition. So I need to get prepared in order to be better. Because I, I think it, it is beautiful. The process is is the, much more beautiful than than the the success. Uh, the training for a marathon, you know, the, the, like, it's a beautiful road. Yeah, you know what's what's amazing? It's because like I can see it from the people in the organization. So as it goes from year to year so you have a someone from who is from some department just got crazy mm-hmm. and he got and it, he bought a bike and he participated and the other colleagues they just went here to look at this crazy guy what the hell is he doing and he really first year really suffers mm-hmm. 
so you have typically like uh, in the middle of the competition, people are swearing those which are doing it for the first time and they are, uh, and they are saying they will never do it again. <laughs> next, next year they are on the start and they are not there alone, but they are with those colleagues which were just there to support them. So they are trying it as well. And uh, in order to prepare for it, so they are starting like every weekend they are going for a bike. They are, uh, go, they are riding the bike around the around Krajova just preparing nice. for this competition and that's that's the beauty of it like the competition is just there yeah, that's that's just the final final bit of the so of the journey maybe we have listeners now that aren't running no that's and uh, the next year will be at the start of marathon Olteni. and uh, i really i'm encouraging everyone to really try it it's not that difficult as it sounds or as, as it might mm-hmm. feel yeah. it's uh and this is this is about each of them this is competition between themselves and uh, their limits it's like really once you are there it's no one is really looking at the others nice maybe next year at the start someone will come to you andre and will tell you you inspired me in the podcast to <laughs> to run one kilometer and that now be, i'm here that would be very nice thank you thank you Thank you so much, uh, Andrei Shafar este CEO-ul uh, CEZ România și mi se pare că pasiunea lui pentru uh, alergare îi face atât de bine, după cum a spus, în uh, treaba lui, în businessul lui de, de, de zi cu zi. Îl ajută să aibă o stare de limpezime a minții care apoi îl ajută în a lua cele mai bune decizii în business. La ce te ajută pe tine alergarea? Cum te-a transformat pe tine alergarea? Poți să-mi scrii în comentariile acestui podcast. Sper că povestea lui Andrei e o poveste care, în care te-ai regăsit sau o poveste în care te poți regăsi dacă te apuci de alergare oricând, în orice dimineață. Chiar și atunci când plouă, ai văzut, e posibil să alergi inclusiv la minus 15 grade pe ninsoare. Sunt Mihai Morar. A fost episodul special prezentat de CEZ România. Felicitări tuturor celor care au alergat sau au participat la maratonul Olteniei, fie la startul din Parcul Zăvoi, fie în tura virtuală și felicitări tuturor celor care alergă. Nu neapărat pentru ceva, dar pentru a se regăsi pe ei. Pentru a fi o formă, o variantă mai bună în fiecare zi. Vă mulțumesc tare mult! A fost fain și simplu!